Yes, my dear. So I'd like to discuss very important hot topic, five star topic for your dermatology topic. That is the pemphigus vulgaris. So pemphigus vulgaris is one of the five star topic that will be encountered in your exam. So just follow me what is written in your notes. Pemphigus vulgaris is an autoimmune disease caused by antibodies directed against desmoglycin 3. So antibodies, circle, directed against the desmoglycin 3, make a circle, desmoglycin 3, a cadherin type epithelial cell adhesion molecule. Just you need to circle desmoglycin 3. It is more common in Ashkaji Jews populations. Yes, you can circle. Yes, once again, Jews population. Features are mucosal ulceration is more common and often the presenting symptom. Oral involvement is seen in 50 to 70 percent of the patients. Skin blistering are the flaccid, easily ruptured vesicles and bulla. Lesions are typically painful but not itchy. These may develop months after the initial mucosal symptoms. Nikolskis described the spread of bully following application of horizontal tangential pressure to the skin. Acantholysis on biopsy makes circular acantholysis and skin blistering makes circular flasket means the easily ruptured vesicles and bully flasket and another word the nickel skin the, this sign the circle in your notes mucosal ulceration is also another important part so my dear i'd like to go through these blistering or bulla skin lesions i'd like to discuss a little bit more before going to these pemphigus vulgaris just follow me what is written as a box so the most common encounter right the Bula's disease, then I'll just list over there so that will be helpful. Here's number one. Then I say the Pemphigus vulgaris. So Pemphigus vulgaris. Second disease is the Pemphigoid. I'm just writing Pem. Yes, that will be really helpful. Pemphigus vulgaris. Just write it down. In your notes, pemphigus vulgaris. Next point, the pemphigoid. So I'm just putting the P for the pemphigoid. So yes, pemphigoid. Yes. Third disease is very important in your exam. Yes, that is the porphyria cutanea tarda. Porphyria cutanea tarda. Fourth important part that is very important in your exam once again that is dermatitis herpetiformis. Fifth disease that is encountered look like or we can say the disease of disease we can say the differential diagnosis of vesicles. blisters or bully bully multiple bulla called the bullies all right so differential diagnosis of the vesicles blisters and bully so these differentials you need to remember so once again i said the pemphigus vulgaris second is the pemphigoid and third is the porphyricutia tana and fourth is the dermatitis herpetiformis so if i write the dermatitis Are petty, yes, petty formis. That will be helpful. Just write it down the way I'm writing, that will be helpful. Here's the fifth disease that we need to know that is very close to the vesicles, boosters, and bully, likely to be the diagnosis. That is the Stephen Johnson syndrome. We already discussed with other topics. That elder name of the Stephen Johnson syndrome is the erythema multiforme measure. Another name, as I said, is the toxic epidermal necrolysis. 
So these are the important five diseases, my dear, that is very important in your exam, that is encounter in your exam. So what I said basically, basically, I tried to put the, all the P's are your differentials, provided that I'm making a watershed here. Because these four, first, second, third, and fourth, these four are the mainly, they are producing the vesicles, vistas, and bully, but the fifth disease, the Steven Johnson syndrome, look like bully, but they are not the blisteric skin lesions or something like that. So we need to discuss the four important points, a very important pathognomonic features of each and every diseases that will be think about the details of the diseases will be helpful. Might you just look at the board? That is very important. Listen very carefully to the pen figures of vulgaris. The word of the vulgaris is really important. Just write it down is superficial. Vulgaris is vulgar with a superficial. So vulgaris means superficials. Just write, write it down. Means the superficial blisters. In contrast, the pentagoid, that is the deep blisters. Yes. So if there is a superficial blisters in the skin, so there will be tons of the blisters will be fragile and leads to the most of the blisters look to be broken down. Right? So this is important. So superficial blisters. So the most of the superficial blisters means most of the blisters. Mostly already broken down. Just write it down, mostly broken. In contrast, the deep blisters mostly intact. Right? And very important differentiating point is the Pemphigus vulgaris. Vulgaris is a mucous membrane involvement. But in deep blister, the Pemphigoid, no mucous membrane involvement. You can write minus MN. Means no mucous membrane involvement. So, minus these first two diseases, we are making a box that way. So that will be helpful. So as I say, Pemphigus vulgaris, vulgaris is the superficial blisters. Most of them are broken, fragile, and mucous membrane involvement. Deep blisters within the deep layers of the skin, Pemphigoid, deep blisters, then most of them are intact without mucous membrane involvement. So this is the two important diseases that we need to understand. Next it is the porphyria cutanea tarda. So porphyria cutanea tarda is really important. Porphyria, the word says, the cutanea tarda. Cutanea means the cutaneous manifestation. What I say, the porphyria, the word P, is really important. That is P for photosensitive areas. That is important. Means the photosensitive areas superficial blister just write it down soup blisters means the superficial blisters over the photosensitive area and photosensitive areas means the dorsal of the hand and the face but forget the face only the dorsal of the hands so photosensitive area just write it down dorsal of the hands Superficial blisters means mostly broken. And once again, without mucous membrane involvement. Next is the dermatitis herbiformis. The word I say, the dermatitis, means eating. Dermatitis means eating. Harpidiformis, the word says harpidiformis means vesicles. Harpidiformis means vesicular eruptions. So two important points that you must remember. Dermatitis harpidiformis. That will be helpful. And regarding Stevens also syndrome and 
right? Uh, erythema multiforme measure means erythema multiforme. Erythema multiforme, you know there is the target erythema multiforme, target lesions with mucous membrane involvement. So these are the important points, my dear. It will be helpful to think about the different differentials that is very important for exam. So once again, the differential diagnosis of the vesicles, blisters and bully. Number one, pemphigus vulgaris. Vulgaris superficial, mostly broken and with mucous membrane involvement. Pemphigoid, deep blisters, mostly intact blisters, no mucous membrane involvement. This is the two important things must to remember. Third disease, once again, Porphyria cutanea tarda, the single word that you need to remember, P for photosensitive areas. Photos is the phase, photosensitive areas are phase, photophase, as well as the dorsal of the hands. Means there are the blisters, once again, superficial blisters over the dorsal of the hands without mucous memory involvement. Next is the dermatitis herpetiformis. Yes, dermatitis is an itching and herpetiformis is only the vesicles and Steven Johnson syndrome erythema multiforme measure as I said EMM equal to EM plus MM that will be helpful to diagnose erythema multiforme plus mucous memory involvement is EMM is one second so I need a very important five star box that go through the diagnosis, cleans them all together, that will be really helpful. A very important differentials starting from the P for pemphigus vulgaris, P for pemphigoid, P for porphyria cutanea tarda, and darbatitis herpetiformis, means the petiformis, four important differentials that we must remember. So once again, the box, bulla, blisters, vesicles are nothing but all are P's. That's it. Only this box equal to P's will be helpful. Thank you, my dear. I hope that you enjoyed.